Today, I'm ranking the seven different chapter ones in every Inazuma 11 game, including Victory Road. Across the Inazuma 11 series, chapter ones tend to follow a pretty standard formula. You meet the game's protagonists, you get briefly introduced to the game's plot, and then you get absolutely battered by a really difficult team. But as I was going through this list, refreshing my mind and re-watching chapter ones, I was pleasantly surprised by just how much was jam-packed into some of these. Yes, there's some pretty boring ones, but the ones near the top of the list are really, really cool. And of course, Victory Road's chapter one is a completely different beat that I can't wait to talk about. So without further ado, let's jump in. In last place, I've gone for chapter one from Inazuma 11 Go. Initially, I didn't want to put this last because I thought the whole this being set in the future, what, 10 years later, and you being able to go through and see what's changed. That was enough of a compelling reason for this not to be last place because in your first playthrough, there is that bit of wide-eyed innocence about everything that's different in this game. But when compared to all the other chapter ones, this one does just end up feeling like a pretty boring retread. Yes, the new stuff is cool, but every other Inazuma 11 game does a better job at giving us that, plus something else actually interesting. This is gonna hurt, but at number six, I've got Inazuma 11 2. I love how they introduce the plot in chapter one of Inazuma 11 2. I mean, to go from the Football Frontier Tournament to Aliens is insane. But the problem is, a lot of this does end up feeling like a retread of IE1, which is a shame, as cool as aliens are. Number five, I've put Victory Road. This is less so an indictment of Victory Road's chapter one, which I did really enjoy, and more so me saying how good the top four are. Victory Road's chapter one is obviously very different to all the other chapter ones because there's no football in it. It's basically only focus battles, but what it loses in football, it makes up for in writing. I think the character development in Victory Road's chapter one is so much stronger than in any other in Azuma 11 game. By the end of this first chapter, I feel like I really know the main three characters it introduces and that's definitely due to the slower pace so while the lack of football is a shame I guess it does lead to some benefits but at the end of the day when I think about chapter ones I want to replay Victory Road isn't going to be top of that list and again that's not really an insult to Victory Road but more so a compliment to all the others or at least the top four and speaking of that top four let's start with Go Galaxy now at first I was gonna put Go Galaxy last and that's purely because I thought it only was that Royal Academy match, which just sucks and is just another retread of the classic Inazuma 11 trope. But then I went back and rewatched and it turns out that chapter one of Go Galaxy also includes the Fire Dragon match, which is crazy because it means that chapter one is quite jam-packed and you get an actual match at the end of it. And so I can't really put this chapter one any lower. I love the plot of Go Galaxy, so this is a strong opening hook. And then you get two matches on top of that. Yes, one of those matches kind of sucks, but the other match is cool and it being introduced to a whole new team is cool. So I like it. You may dislike it if you dislike the plot of Go Galaxy, but I I'm a little stan for it. So number four. Number three, I've got Inazuma 11-1. Yes, this is probably the most basic chapter one, but it does work. And this is coming from someone who has played this game about 500 times. Obviously, the Royal Academy stuff was novel in this one. You know, I mean, it, it's a trope now, but it wasn't a trope at the time. But on top of that, I love what this chapter does for establishing Raimon as an underdog. I adore that you have to go and find your last four team members. That is one of my favorite parts of this first chapter. And it's little stuff like that, Jack hiding in the locker, all these memorable moments that for me come together to make a really strong opening to the first Inazuma 11 game. In number two, I go Chrono Stones. And this is another one that really shines just because of how much is stuffed into it. Again, we've got two matches here. On top of that, you've got Vladimir coming from the alternate universe. You've got alternate universes, time travel shenanigans, Alpha, Protocol Omega, Faerun, Miximax, a teddy bear. <laughs> Everything is in this first chapter. And because of that, I just can't not put it any lower than two. And finally, my favorite chapter one, by process of elimination, is in Azuma 11.3. Come on, this was always going to be number one. I knew this from the second I started thinking of this list. It features the selection of Inazuma Japan, which is just the coolest moment to have in any chapter one ever. And on top of that, the match it features in its chapter one is a match between all of the main characters from the other two Inazuma 11 games 
I mean, come on, that is ridiculously cool. It's just so different to all the other chapter ones. I can't not put it at first. It's so exciting and interesting, and I just really love it. So there you go. That's my list of every chapter one in every Inazuma 11 game ranked. And make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.